Now, in this video, we'll talk about the acute abdominal pain in localized. Localized pain, which could be in right hypochondrium, epigastrium, left hypochondrium, right and left lumbar, umbilical, right iliac fossa, hypogastrium, and left iliac fossa. The abdominal cavity is divided into nine regions for the purpose of describing the location of viscera by four imaginary planes, two horizontal and two vertical. The abdominal regions involved gives a clue to the likely organ involved when there is abdominal pain. According to developmental origin of abdominal organs, abdomen can be divided into upper, two middle and three lower abdomen. First, upper abdomen pain. Disease of stomach, duodenum, hepatobiliary system, pancreas, to mid -abdomin abdominal pain, disease of small bowel, example jejunum and ileum. Third, lower abdominal pain, disease of colon, reproductive organ, urinary bladder. Patient may also present with localized peritonitis in any of these nine regions. This occurs when an inflamed organ is in contact with the peritoneum, leading to localized inflammations. If not treated, this will progress to in generalized diffuse peritonitis. The sign of localized peritonitis is guarding or rebound in one particular area of abdomen. If the vein is in right hypochondrium, then ask for the history of onset, duration, severity and nature of pain. What is the relation with food habits like with fatty food associated with fever, anorexia, nausea, and vomiting, jaundice? Previous history of loose motions with the stool floating on water suggestive of steatorrhea. And look for is there any swelling and scar marks? Palpate to notice any lump, tenderness, and rigidity. Look for morphic sign. Parkos for liver dullness. Is there any intercostal space tenderness? And in investigations, blood for hematocrit, total count, differential count, total count and neutrophils are increased in acute cholecystitis. Serum amylase is helpful to exclude pancreatitis. Liver function test, serum bilirubin, AST and ALT are raised in acute hepatitis. Liver function test is helpful to differentiate medical from surgical hepatobiliary disease. Chest X-ray X -ray in PA view, it is essential for the exclude pneumoperitoneum, pleural effusion and lower lobe pneumonia. In liver abscess, right hemidiaphragm may be elevated. Ultrasonography, it is useful in evaluating liver gallbladder and pancreatic disease. In biliary colic, uh, duration of pain will be shorter while longer in acute cholecystitis. Pain is aggravated with the fatty foods in both of the conditions. Pain may be associated with the fever in uh, acute cholecystitis, liver abscess, and hepatitis. Intercostal space tenderness is seen in liver abscess. There may also be history of uh, loose motions. Morphic sign is positive. Patients catches breath when pressure is uh, applied at the tip of ninth costal car costals and asks to take a deep breath. In acute cholecystitis, it occurs in acute cholecystitis. A tender lump may be palpable. Serum amylase may be raised in acute cholecystitis, but less than three times upper limit of normal. The differential diagnosis or diagnosis to con consider uh, could be acute cholecystitis, acute hepatitis, which, which is A, B, and E, liver abscess, biliary colic, right low liver, lower liver, Lobe pneumonia. If the patient comes with the complaining of the epigastric pain, then ask for the onset, duration, severity, and nature of pain. Is there periodicity? Water brass and drinking habit present? Any history of vomiting of blood and passes of black stools? Then look for the pallor and dehydrations, record vitals, any swelling and scar marks, any lump, tenderness, rigidity, and guarding. Obliterations of liver dullness, great turner of colon sign are in pancreatitis, which could be in pancreatitis. For the investigations, blood for hematocrit, total count, differential count, 
hematocrit may decrease in peptic ulcer disease. Serum creatinine and electrolytes. Serum amylase more than three to four fold diagnostic of acute cholecystitis. Sorry, acute pancreatitis. CRP marker of severity of acute pancreatitis, especially if more than 150 mg per liter after 48 hours. Stool for occult blood. Chest X-ray PAB. Look for pleural effusion and the pneumoperitoneum. Plain abdomen, uh, abdominal X-ray, supine and erect. Ultrasound. To know detail of pancreas, whether pancreas is enlarged, edematous, and fluid collections inside or outside, upper gastrointestinal endoscopy should be done. Presence of burning pain, periodicity, water baths, and stool occult blood may be positive in peptic ulcer disease. Sudden sharp excruciating pain starting at epigastrium and later becoming generalized presence of pneumoperitoneum. Guarding, dehydrations, and obliterations of liver dullness are feature of duodenal ulcer perforation. Acute pancreatitis may appear just after heavy drinking. Pleural effusions may be seen uh, in chest X-ray. Commonest causes of acute pancreatitis are either alcohol or gallstone. Serum amylase rise in the first uh, six to twelve hours. The opposite to score system is used to calculate severity of disease and prognosis in acute pancreatitis feature of shock severe shock intra interscapular pain with the radio femoral delay present in this dissecting aortic aneurysm the diagnosis to con consider peptic ulcer disease gastritis acute pancreatitis if the patient comes with a complaint of left hypochondrium pain then ask for the site and radiation of pain History of the other disease that could cause a portal hypertension. Look for the organomegaly and hepa tenderness. Uh, the investigation should be blood for hematocrit, total count and differential count, ultrasound, CT scan. Uh, pain at left lower quadrant radiated to left shoulder with the huge spleen uh, and the feature of portal hypertension favors for splenic infarctions. Uh, uh, if the patient comes with the complaining of lower lumbar pain, right or left flank, then ask for the history of the onset, severity, duration and nature of pain, radiations or setting of pain. Is there fever, burning micturations and infrequency of urinations? What is the color of urine? It is clear or high color or radius. Then look for the temperature, pulse pressure, pulse, blood pressure, any swelling or scar marks. Any lump and tenderness is the renal angle tender, corneal orifices and testis if patient is male. Then uh, investigations should be done uh, like hematocrit, TC and TC, urine, RME and cultures, serum creatinine, x-ray, uh, kidney, ureter and bladder, x-ray of uh, KUB, IVU and USC. In perinephric abscess, there may be fullness in loin. Loin is the area in between be below 12th rib and above iliac crest. Female patients suffer from acute pyelonephritis more than male. The KUB means kidney, ureter and bladder. It includes lower lobe ribs above and sympathesis pubis below. Uh, IVU is intravenous program or urogram. To do IVU, bowel should be prepared and serum creatinine should be uh, normal. For IVU, Serial films are taken at the first control uh, before giving IV dye and the uh, to nephrogram just after giving dye, then third pilogram after five minutes for five minutes, you uretrogram for 10 minutes and histogram 15 minutes. Most common organisms of urinary tract infections are equally proteus, Klebsiella, and pseudomonas. The diagnosis to consider is acute pyelonephritis, perinephric abscess, ureteric stone. In the in case of complaining of the right iliac fossa pain, then ask for the site of origin of pain, its severity, onset, duration, and nature. In appendicitis, pain may shift from the periumbilic to right iliac fossa. Urinary symptoms is there burning and frequency of micturations. What is the color of urine? The these are helpful to rule out the urinary tract infection, ureteric colic. Any swelling present, if present, uh, when does it appear and it is reducible, it is necessary to rule out the ingu 
uh, inguinosac scrotal hernia. Is there pain in the scrotum? No testicular torsions may give uh, abdominal pain. Is patient is uh, female of reproductive age? Asked for the last menstrual period and PV discharge. History of the loose motions and presence of fever. Then look for the uh, uh, mass or lump. Presence, uh, present give its size, number, mobility, surface, and whether tender, tender or not. In appendicular mass, lump is smooth surface, tender and non mobile. In its McBurn is point tender. Look for the Robin's, Robinson's sign, rebound uh, in Parkinson's tenderness, copse, swas, and obturator sign. These all are sign or acute appendicitis. Rigidity or guarding, it is present in appendicitis. If patients if the guarding and rigidity is generalized, consider the perforated appendix. Then uh, further investigations, blood for hematocrit, total count, differential count, urine RME, it is helpful to exclude the urine tract infection and urolithiasis. Urine for pregnancy tests, stool RME, helpful in enteritis, ultrasound, ultrasonography, it is useful to diagnose appendicular lump and FCC patients female. It is helpful to uh, rule out the adnexal pathology like ovarian cyst, twisted cyst and ectopic pregnancy. Classical setting of pain from periumbilical or epigastric to right iliac fossa in appendicitis is due to same nerve innervations to appendix and umbilical area. Later on, on parietal peritoneum is inflamed, then pain is fixed to right iliac fossa. Macborn is point. It is point which lies at the medial two-third and lateral one-third of spinoumbilical line. The Diagnosis to consider is appendicitis, appendicular abscess, ileocecal tuberculosis, ovarian cyst or torsions, ectopic pregnancy, tuber salpingitis. In case of lower left iliac fossa pain, then ask for the onset of pain, duration, history of constipation, urinary symptoms, is there any burning and frequency of micturition? What is the color of urine? Uh, these are helpful to rule out the urinary tract infection, ureteric colic. Any swelling present? Uh, if presence with the, when does it appear and it is is it reducible? It is uh, necessary to rule out the ilu ingu uh, inguinous scrotal hernia. Is there pain in scrotum? No testicular torsion may give abdominal pain. If fashion is female of reproductive age, ask uh, her last menstrual period and pubic discharge. Sexual activity, history of loose motions, drug history, including contraceptions. Then look for the abdominal tenderness, guarding, rebound pelvic or, or abdominal lump. PB exam to look for the ovarian or adnexal pathology. Then investigation was similar to pain in right iliac fossa, which I already told. Uh, pain and tenderness similar to acute appendicitis, but in older age group may occur in the diverticulitis, but it's rare in our part of the world. The differential diagnosis could be constipations, ovarian cyst, torsions, ectopic pregnancy, uh, tubosalphingitis, and diverticulitis. In case of hypogastric pain, then ask for the onset of pain, duration, dysuria, frequency, urinary retentions, menstrual cycle, uh, abnormal PV bleeding, abnormal PV discharge. Then look for the fever, pulse, blood pressure, abnormal, abnormal tenderness, and any masses or swelling, pelvic. Uh, Examination in women to access the uterine size and tenderness. Rectal examination in men to access prostate size and consistent. Uh, now the acute uh, abdominal pain with the history of trauma. Uh, acute abdominal pain with the trauma could be due to blunt trauma or penetrating trauma. Whether trauma is blunt or penetrating is usually obvious from the patient's presentations. Penetrating trauma may be due to knife wound, bullet wounds, or falling from a height onto a sharp object. Blunt abdominal trauma is common, but often occurs in the presence of other distracting injuries or altered mental status, so may be difficult to diagnose. If so, then ask for the detail of the accident, fatality at the scene, speed of vehicle, whether the vehicle rolled over, extent of damage to vehicle, whether the seat belt were used. Injuries elsewhere that might distract from the abdominal injury, example fracture of pelvis, lower limbs, head injury, chest injury. 
Time since injury, delayed splenic rupture may occur. Use of drugs such as warfarin, which increases risk of bleeding and pre existing medical problem. Then look for the ABCDE that stands for airway, breathing, circulation, disability, and exposure. Repeated assessment of ABCDE is important as a patient may rapidly deteriorate. It. Inspection of abdomen for bruising or lacerations. Abdominal palpations for tenderness or mass. Then we should send for the investigations like hematocrit, blood group and cross match, urine lysis to look for the hemato hematuria, suggestible renal injury, fast ultrasound to assess for intra-abdominal bleed, damage to liver and spleen, diagnostic peritoneal lavage if ultrasound not available or equivocal. Blunt abdominal trauma or BAT or BAT most often result from a motor or vehicle press but may also occur due to the blows to the abdominal and falls. Occult BAT may, may occur uh, with the child abuse and domestic violations. Blunt abdominal trauma most often results in injury to the spleen. The liver and kidney can also be uh, can also be injured less commonly uh, hollow viscous injury may occur elderly and alcoholic patients are more likely to sustain laceration of the spleen as they have lax abdominal wall delayed splenic rupture may occur patients with significant intra abdominal injuries may have minimal or no symptoms initially a high level of suspicious suspicious is needed in patients with extra abdominal injury followed a road traffic accident thanks